Hello, you are doing your 3D project and need an Allen head bolt like this. Let's learn how to do it using Tinkercad. Welcome to the channel Materials 101. We are doing a video about 3D modeling this time we are using Tinkercad. My name is Guilherme and this video is a collaboration with another channel here in YouTube called Engenheiro de Plantão from my friend Professor Alexandre Neves. At his channel Alexandre made this video in Portuguese. Here we are doing in English. So if you wanted you can check both of videos and I will link the video from his channel in the description of this video, right? Let's go to find out how to make this Allen head bolt using Tinkercad. First, I have to explain some important info information about the visualization here in Tinkercad. So, we have actually two options using this toolbar here. And we can switch to a orthographic view or to a perspective view. In this case we are using an orthographic view because it will allow us to check the positions of our elements better than in the perspective view. So we are using this kind of view which is the, the orthographic view. In this video we are, we are going to make a complete process of modeling Allen head bolt so here in Tinkercad we already have some basic shapes to create this kind of model. So let's start creating the base screw from Allen head bolt and then we are and then we are assemble the parts. So to find how to create this we have to click in this this box from Tinkercad and then we have a lot of options to select to create our 3D models. We have to came here in shape generators and then we click in feature it here in the first page we we'll find a ISO metric thread if you click here in ISO metric thread and drag to the work plane we can then release the left button and then you can use, we can see that the Tinkercad create a ISO metric thread, right? Now we have to set some parameters for our thread. I will choose to make this with 10 millimeters of diameter. So we can uh, click here and set or we can click right on the value and type 10. So the Tinkercad uh, already recognize this value as the diameter of our screw. For our pitch I will keep this value from 1.5 right then for segments I will choose 32 segments for this screw. Observe what Tinkercad do. It change the thread. If you click here and set for different segments the Tinkercad change some settings about your screw. So now we are selecting the rotations. I will select 20 rotations. Look that the Tinkercad already increased the total length of our thread. This is because the number of rotations, right? So these two parameters are correlated. I'll select the right view to check how this fits in our work plan. If you click on the if you click on the thread, you will realize that it's not uh, in the same level of, of our working plan. So we have to select the, the thread and we can set at the same level of, of our working plan. So now we can see that our thread at, is at the same level of our working plan. Also, if we click here, we can we can see total length of our thread. We can change the position if you want. We can check the the diameter if, to see if it's okay. Okay, so if we click here, 
we can select the total length of our thread. So right now it's 31.73. So we can choose to change this. The right amount that we have to do is 31.13. Sorry. It's 31.13. So now we have the, the, the right value for the length of our thread and we have to set some other parameters. If you click here and drag, we can change the value of the length. But, but this is not recommended because it will change the other parameters of our thread. In this case, we will we will work with this total length of 31.13 millimeters, right? Because you have to remember, the, in this case, we are using the metric system. So for this kind of thread from 10 millimeters of diameter, this is the right conditions for, for the total length. So now we can click here in isometric view to check uh, our thread. Well, uh, this part is over, so for we, in order to create the other elements of our <coughs> Allen head bolt, we have to select, we have to go back here uh, in the shape generators and we have to select basic shapes. Then we'll find a full cylinder, right? can select the full cylinder, click and drag our work plan. Now we have to uh, change some parameters. So to better improve our, our shape, I will decide to put instead 20, 64 slides, right? So this will create a better structure for our Allen head bolt. So for the dimensions, I will change directly on our, our, our cylinder. So I will set this diameter to 10 millimeters and then I will set and then I will set this one to 10 as well. Also I will decide to set the height of the, the or the total length of this part to 10 millimeter as well. We can click click here directly on the value and set the value that we choose. Now I will set now I'll getting a little bit closer and set in this icon and drag to the right position of 30. So setting the position to, to 30 millimeters uh, from the, the work plane, we can now uh, select the both elements. So I'll just change the field, right? I believe this, I think this is better. And then I will click on the new element, right? Press shift and click in our thread, right? Now I'll align those two elements, but first I'll select top view, right? If I click to align the both elements and click in, in the perspective view, I can now realize that the both are corrected aligned, right? To complete the process, I have to click at the, the both parts, uh, pressing shift, and then I will create uh, in this icon to create a group. The, the Tinkercad, it will create the, the group uh, shortly. Meanwhile, I will create our next element of this Allen head bolt, and also I will click at cylinder at the left bottom of the mouse and I will drag to our work plan, right? I will setting those dimensions 
based on a standard which is the DIN 912 here we are doing a model based on that standard but which is not with the standard parameters right but we are trying to follow some some of those parameters right so now I'll have to set the dimensions of this cylinder which is 16 and 16 and the height of the cylinder is 10 I will set the position to 40 millimeters from the, our work plan I will select the I believe top position to try to drag here and now I will set the front position to set with, to, to see if it is in the right position I believe it, it is at the right position right so now I'll create another group between those two parts so I'll se select the, the cylinder press shift and then select our thread right and then I'll align those elements first I'll click here uh, actually this position is already aligned so I don't don't need to align this and then I will create let's check if it looks good I think so yes I believe it's in the right position and now I will select to group those two elements now I have to create our last element to this Allen head bolt which is this polygon right so to do that we have to click uh, here in the basic shapes click on in polygon click and drag to to our work plane we have to select the right dimensions for this uh, element right which is if if we click this guy here for this dimension we have eight millimeters so we have to set this to eight and to into this this other dimension we have to set 9.24 right this is set according to the same standard that I mentioned before but in another video we will uh, we will dedicate more attention to those, those dimensions how to calculate that how to set those parameters but here we just uh, follow the the basic instructions from the standard right so we have to the polygon at the height of 50 millimeters then uh, select top view click at shift select the Allen head bolt element align those two elements I will change to a perspective view and now I will uh, select uh, just the just the polygon and change the from shape to hole and select this icon to create a hole at the surface of our cylinder right now uh, I will click shift and select the entire Allen head bolt and I will group those two elements so this is mm, pretty much how we can create this this kind of Allen head bolt I will give you a quick view of how you can create a element to assemble with this element so here in Tinkercad we have a, an option to select a box right if you want to change the dimensions of your uh, solid you have to do that before uh, create a hole or creating uh, before creating a hole on it why is that see uh, if we select this to for example I don't know 30 and let me see which dimensions I use here for example so here is sorry 25 so 25 
and here we set to 40, right? We set that, the dimension, and then here we can select 10, for example. So now you have, you basically, basically you have, you create an element uh, that you can create a hole on it, right? And how we create create this hole? We can again select Fitter it here in Tinkercad, click again in uh, ISO Magic Thread, drag uh, the thread here select some parameters for this thread so the diameter has to be the same so the diameter here has to be 10 which is exactly the this, this same diameter that we use on our Allen head bolt and now we have to set the segments right and we actually don't we don't have to increase the rotations here because uh, we only need uh, this this little guy here to be the same height of our our element so in order in order to do that I'll try to set the the height of our sorry here 10 right now if we select the right view and close this I believe it's the it is at the same height we actually have to raise a little bit okay now we have the same position for both parts and if I I want to create a hole here for example I have to do the same process click at the both parts select maybe top view click in a line click for those elements we align it and now I have to click I can do sorry I can click here before or after but now I have to change the the thread to a hole and if I click at the bo both elements again select both elements I can group those and it will create a hole in our element now we set we'll set this at the this the right uh, position and uh, that's the the tricky part if we change this our hole it will be changed as well so in in order to avoid that we have to create uh, we have to set the dimensions of our plate before change the, the the hole right so here we can set the parameters right again and then click here select shifting change the view it will be a good idea I think so now align both it's already aligned and then we have a thread fix it in our plate like this one for example that I set right so that's it guys uh, this is basically how we can create this Allen head bolt using using Tinkercad uh, please let me know if you like this kind of content here at the channel write on the comments if you watch the, the, the video in Portuguese and I see you in another video right